It is a name we all know. Many of you made memories with your own family here. But what you probably don't know is the history behind it. In tonight's Show Me Success, Eckert's, a seven-generation family farm in southern Illinois. This is Ella Eckert. She is my great-grandmother. She's one of the matriarchs of Eckert's. She spent her life in this century-old home, tucked amongst the apple orchards at Eckert's Belleville Farm. And then it became our corporate offices for a period of time. It's now the Eckert's archives. Uh. And for the first time, they're sharing it with the public. What is it? January 29th? 1919. Chris Eckert, seventh generation and president of Eckert's. Two pounds, Missouri Pippin. Combs through more than 100 years of history. Crop expenses. Ledgers of all crops and livestock sold. Seed, wheat, $2.15. Cents. Every newspaper clipping. Belleville's backbones of industry. Postcard albums. One of the most prized possessions in the archive is this. It's from the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. A bronze medal, third place for apples. A farm family descended from German immigrants spanning 182 years. The first attempt at brick and mortar retail was this roadside stand in 1910. Now they have stores in Belleville, Millstadt, Grafton, even Versailles, Kentucky. Entrepreneurial spirit about us that's kind of in our DNA. But there's been low points too. The lowest just a few years ago. The toughest year in our history was 2012, financially. 2012 was a drought year. Eckert's had to lay people off, sell farmland, and Chris admits the business is still recovering from it. But the family endured. And while it's a family business, your birthright doesn't mean you have the right to a paycheck. That's kind of written into our, our governing documents that family members are not guaranteed a job. You have to go out and prove yourself. And the Eckerts start proving themselves young. Chris's parents made him start a small business at their Millstadt location when he was in eighth grade. We made funnel cakes at our Millstadt farm in the fall. So we had to buy the batter, buy the fryers, hire our friends, pay them. We had to pay rent to Eckerts. The profits were how Chris paid for college. And now with two children of his own, the eighth generation of Eckerts is no different. My son was stamping hands at the Millstadt farm this weekend, and my daughter was running a register here at Belleville this weekend. And many of the Eckerts not only work together, but live together. Cousins, parents, aunts, and uncles living on the Belleville and Millstadt farms. And when it comes to running the business together, Chris says a mutual respect is their secret to success. That level of respect allows us to come to consensus on major decisions and uh, sometimes it means we say no to things that we think make profit sense because that don't make family sense. Farmers for nearly 200 years spanning 1200 acres a business firmly rooted in family. And Chris says no pressure to be in the family business. They have a big family. Some people want to be in it. Some people don't. And that's okay. So clearly it's hard work. Yeah. yeah well, is. farming is hard yeah. work. Yeah.